So good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the World of Tanks Pro League Season 2. We are into match day 5 and 6 here. We've had some fantastic games already that we will be going over. But alongside me, as ever, is the wonderful, the one and only Oliver. How are you feeling tonight? I'm all right. I'm good. I'm mean, just excited for these games coming up. We've got Evil Panda Squad first versus More What De, and later on we'll be seeing Spell go against uh, Kaz and the Crew, both our community favourites. So, do stay tuned for that one a bit later on. But first, uh, we can talk a little bit about these two teams. Um, they haven't really played against mm. each other yet. Yeah, they, they've somehow kind of missed each other a yeah. lot. And I think we already had a little bit of a discussion that they'd had some kind of varying results in their previous matches yeah. that really stood out to us. For the likes of the example of the Evil Panda Squad, obviously beating Spale, beating Mouse Sports, but losing to Team Dignitas and Virtus Pro. Mm. But you see a very different side for the uh, Team More What, DE. Yeah. That's, it's completely crazy that this is happening. So they've been Dragon Balls and Kasna Group, but they lost to Mouse Sports and Spale. So... It's going to be quite... It's kind of a switcheroo thing, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. It's going to be a real weird one to look back on this and go, I wonder which way you know, that really pans out. Because mm. you already said in this, on paper, a lot of the results you know, look very one-sided or you think, oh, that's going to be a bit of a boring match. It actually turns out to be completely spun on its head. So a lot of the results so far have been very hard to call. But obviously, I've been making you kind of make uh, judgment calls on yeah. this. And what's, what's your initial thoughts? We haven't seen much from them yet. We haven't seen tank picks or anything of the such. It's still very early for these two teams. But who do you think, guts-wise, you know, is, is going to be the one for you out of these two? Um, it's a very, very good question. I mean, More What D is such a new team that we don't really know what to expect from them. Yep. Um, we've seen some good play, some very, very strong play. Probably uh, the strongest team, I would say, coming into this new season. Um, winning against a, uh, some very strong teams, first of all. I mean, Dragonborn's <laughs> not our number four place finisher uh, at DreamHack. Uh, but, you know... They, they, they've got some problems, that's for sure. I mean, you know, we, we see them win on your Ensks, your Himmelsdorfs, they're, they're pretty good there. Uh, but they, they do struggle a little bit with, with, you know, open maps like mine. Well, it's not, mine's not an open map, you know, but like your Prokhorovka. Mines is, is a kind of a hybrid, so they still struggle there a little bit. Mm. So uh, Evil Panda Squad, they're a little bit more experienced on those maps, definitely. Um, so I think on Himmelsdorfs, I think more what the E are probably one of the strongest teams in the season. Uh, top three, I would say. Wow. But on the open maps, it's really open. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be 50-50. Yeah, so map choice, I guess, is going to be a massive defining mm. factor into these games. So we're going to just have to find out exactly what maps they're going to go for. And obviously, which ones will hopefully they get through. Because as you said, some teams are very strong on one, some not so much. But we can have a little quick look back into the first day's match of uh, match day one and two in a moment. But until then, let's have a little quick look at these teams. Now, we've had a light discussion on them, but why don't you go into depth about the members that are kind of joining, obviously, the Evil Panda Squad and Team More what .de. Sure, well, first of all, new multi-show springs out on the board for Evil Panda Squad. Uh, their star player, actually, one of the uh, top AMX 5100 players, Ever, I think he's, he's definitely fair to say as a fair mm. comment because he's won so much, so many one-on-ones, so many uh, seven-on-sevens. The only guy to get all seven kills in a seven-on-seven -seven tournament. Wow. Um, Xenef as well stands out. Sony can be a very good artillery player if he just performs under pressure. Um, Potomako, uh, he's got to really step his game up because in Season 1 he was disappointing. Uh, Mickey Man in there, he wasn't so active in Season 1, so it'll be interesting to see how he integrates with the team. Uh, and then over on Team More What DE, we've got um, uh, obviously Sikh, who's Sikh, I'm not sure if that's how to pronounce his name or not, but he's the team leader. Um, very good player as well, 1 3 3 7 hacks, so also good. Skarin, another brilliant player. Um, some, some interesting heavy tanks player, QQE. Um, if that's how you pronounce the name, sorry if I'm butchering it. Um, oh, I plan to make them even <laughs> worse. Like, I will rename them to Bob if they start, you know, these confusing names. It's, it's strange how cool, the Germans right? have more confusing names than the Polish. You'd think it'd be the other way around, exactly. wouldn't you? Yeah, it's, it's a strange one. Um, but yeah, some good heavy tanks player from, yeah. from them all round. Uh, they just have to get their, they have to get their, their light tank coordination better. Um, yeah, those, those, those are pretty fair lineups. They're pretty even in terms of skill. Obviously, Evil Panda Squad, far more experienced, having been one of the teams uh, here from the beginning. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's going to be an interesting lineup. Yeah, definitely. Both teams have you know, all their strengths and weaknesses. We've kind of seen that. You already mentioned the maps are going to be a big factor into this. And obviously, we're going to have to see how they can work around that. So where's your money going to go for this one? If you had to build on a team here, you, mm. you, know, you don't necessarily know the map orders or what quite coming up just yet. But who are you going to go for just you know, from a gut feeling? Um, I think... On experience, I would say Evil Panda Squad, um, just because we'll be seeing Abby and Prokhorov from, uh, and then 
Ensk or Himmelsdorf, I think one uh, of those two. Okay. So we've got the, the ones which require a little bit more experience first. So mm -hmm. if, if Evil Panda Squad win those two, it is a best of five, so they'll only have to win three. Uh, going into Ensk and Himmelsdorf and stuff, it's going to be very hard for uh, Morwat DE to get back in uh, to the game. So I think Evil Panda Squad. Yeah, so we, we're going to have to just find out on that one. But guys at home, do let us know your predictions as well. You may have noticed we don't have Melly here. We don't even have Stephen here. We, we're literally running out of people. He, you know, he's sick, he's ill, mm. and Melly's having to do exams. We'll bring her back soon. We're, we'll try and keep rid of Stephen, I promise you. But we will try and get Melly back, I assure you. But I will try and do my best to keep up with any of your thoughts throughout this show. Any updates you want, any questions to Oliver as well, feel free to, you know, just ask the question. If you do hashtag WOT Pro League, I will be able to check them out. And obviously, you can use it. You can see it on the screen there. We can try and check it out through that. But make sure you use that hashtag because then I can see it as well and try and get some uh, sort of feedback back to yourself. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. So obviously, predictions in that first game is the main thing. But also, any questions. This man's basically an encyclopedia. You may as well use him. <laughs> like, I, I ask him anything. He's like, yeah, the uh, turn speed of the turret on this one is this much. And you know, well, the tank speed like this. I'm like, I, I don't <laughs> really know what you're saying. But but he does. So make sure you get your questions through to him. If he doesn't know it, I'm sure he'll be able to find out and try and give you the best answers possible. But we are kind of looking like they, they get themselves into the server here as well. So let me have a little look myself. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like they're just uh, getting ready to tank pick. Um, I think they have just about to start. Yeah, I'm just going to give them the go-ahead to start indeed. Oh. oh, you've already done it quicker than me. I say? Always faster than me. Everything. Uh, so Sony says, okay, so we'll be going to tank picking. It is Abby, so we're expecting to see T69s, uh, perhaps a T71 in there. No artillery, actually. We've already talked about this quite a few mm. times before. 8.6, no artillery, pretty much is the standard. Uh, T1s, yeah, being picked from both teams. One team picking a T69, which is obviously Evil Panda Squad. Uh, more what DE picking uh, an AMX 3090, that French tier 8 uh, light tank. Um, it, pretty, pretty standard. standard We're yeah. not expecting anything too unusual here. Um, the only, most unusual thing would be if, if one decides to pick perhaps like a Bison or a Storm Panzer II or something. Um, but I think it's unlikely. T1 AMX 3090 being picked by Sony from Evil Panda Squad. Um, so that will make him have a T69 uh, an AMX 3090. We're expecting to see, uh, like last week, an AMX 5100 somewhere in the mix just because, well, it's... Uh, no artillery anymore, so mm. why, why not? I mean, it's fast enough. Might it's as fast well. as a T69. It's got the damage. It's got a little bit more HP than the MX-1390. Uh, so just pick it. Um, MX-1390, T69 being picked from Morwat DE, reposted by Evil Panda Squad, T69, MX-1390. And finally, Morwat DE picking an AMX-5100. So nothing too surprising. No, really. not nothing is surprising at all, I think. Um, <laughs> these teams don't want to be giving up anything. They, they, yeah. I know more what DE knows, probably that Evil Panda Squad's the more uh, experienced team, um, and they don't want to be giving anything. They don't want to be losing. They want to be using standard lineups, yep. um, something they know is reliable, something they know which will win them the game, possibly, uh, if they use it correctly. Um, they don't want to be throwing it, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Because obviously this, you know, we're getting further and further into the season now. We are into five and six. You know, obviously, you know, there's been a good couple of initial games. There have been exchange where we've seen some upsets, some, you know, changes happening and some teams feeling the benefit of it, some feeling the brunt. But now in the, at this point, everyone seems to be kind of getting used to, you know, the changes that have been made. And, you know, obviously the patch that came through. So, you know, we're getting to see some real skill now. And obviously these two are such a fantastic set of teams. Currently in the scores, well, overall rankings to this point, Evil Panda Squad are at rank 4. So they are far above the more what DE side who are ranked 10. But, you know, it's, it's all still to play for. It's still early doors in that kind of aspect. But on paper, they should be a little bit better. But we are just going to say we are ready because this game is literally going to be blisteringly fast so far, which is, we were a little bit worried before, but I can't wait to see this one. Both teams really have something to prove. They've uh, not really faced off to this point, and morewhat.de have really been showing their class at the moment. So uh, hopefully Evil Panda Squad can kind of uh, lock them down.
All right, here we go. Evil Panda Squad versus Mawad D. Uh, this is play day number five. We'll be seeing play day number six a bit later. Uh, we are on Abbey. This is map number one. Both teams picking pretty similar lineups. Evil Panda Squad opting for uh, one more T69, while Mawad D going for uh, an Air Mix 3090 extra. Uh, as we see, uh, Mawad D actually going uh, for the trench side from the get go. Yep. And I'm, I'm just curious to see how they play this one out right now because I've been uh, privy to some fantastic plays on this map. The early exchanges actually in that Abbey obviously have been brilliant and truly defining. So I want to see once again what can happen here. Uh, Evil Panda Squad pushing up towards the Abbey as you said. We've seen some fantastic plays there. Pointer backing up Ace. Usually the uh, resident T32 or heavy tank player but obviously new multi-show being uh, the more experienced, he's uh, resided that position to him. T1's in the background. So only actually looking for, to push slightly up uh, onto this hill. Probably a little bit later we'll be seeing him do that. Uh, Evil Panda Squad going for a pretty standard tactic at the beginning. Hoping to catch more what the out as they push towards the, uh, the actual uh, mountainside. Uh, but, you know, still no spots. No team knows where the other one is, but it's only a minute into the game. Exactly. Still early doors, but we do see a push coming up the uh, 7 and 8 line right now just edging a little bit further forward and uh, you can see they're being a bit cautious but they are still trying to gain some ground here so I'm quite curious when they will get that first spot because literally they have no idea where the opposi opposition is right now which is quite strange to see so we're going to have to find out how far they can go